looking good trim nice welcome to smile to jannah this week in the dunya let's have a look smile to jannah <laughs> All right, guys, the first news I'm sure everybody's been hearing about it the whole week. It is, of course, the tragic attacks that have taken place in Sri Lanka, in the churches, and in the hotels. Hundreds of people have passed away during the Christian holiday of Easter, and links have been made, and the perpetrators supposedly are ISIS who have claimed responsibility. Killing innocent people is not from Islam. As many of you educated people know, a lot of the victims of ISIS are from the Middle East. In other words, more Muslims are killed by ISIS than non-Muslims. Even in this tragic attack, many Muslims have also been killed as well. The world of course is in mourning. Some people sadly are getting angry and pointing fingers towards Islam, but of course we know this has nothing to do with Islam. In fact, if a person is to judge Islam, we judge Islam through the Quran and the sayings and the practice of the Prophet peace be upon him. And there's scores of literature that suggests that Islam venerates and respects other religions' places of worship. In fact, the eye of the Quran that you can see on the screen. But what's very interesting is straight after the attacks happened, our mate Donald Trump gave his condolences very quickly to 138 million people. Now considering Sri Lanka's population is 20 million, it had a lot of people scratching their heads as to where a hundred odd other million people had popped up from. Ironically, this is the same president who's always banging on about fake news. You are fake news. Why on earth is he spreading this false and fake news? I think it's because he's too busy sorting out meetings with the CEO of Twitter just to complain why he's lost so many followers. This was quite shocking as well. First they said the death toll was 359, then they lobbed 100 off and said it was 253. There's another bit of news that popped up where they wrongly accused a woman of being a perpetrator in the attacks. She came out and there's enough evidence to suggest that she had nothing to do with it. Now what do we learn from all this? We learned that we shouldn't be reactive straight away when we hear these things, like our mate Donald Trump. You are fake news. Verify first and hold your horses. Just take the knowledge in, look at the different sources and then come to a conclusion. All right, now that moves me on to the second news story. Now the son of the Prime Minister of Israel put out a tweet saying, because there's no P in Arabic, Therefore, Palestine doesn't exist. Now I get it mate, because you're the son of the PM of Israel, the standard of intelligence is very low for you. But this tweet mate, even by your standards, is a bit too low, you know what I mean? But he's not the only one. Some other mug by the name of Anat Berko said exactly the same thing. Old type to all the OGs on Twitter mate, they jumped in all guns blazing with some wicked logic mate. <laughs> Hear this out, J, the letter J wasn't invented in English till approximately 500 years ago, but Jesus has been around for over 2000 years. How did that happen? Another guy pops up and says the letter J isn't in Hebrew. So where are you getting the words Jews and Judaism from? Mm -hmm. And then of course the people that know Arabic say the correct word is Palestine with a fa or the English F. Yeah, it's only been translated in English as Palestine. It just shows how desperate these Zionists are getting mate. All right guys, the next bit of news, handshakes. As I'm sure you're quite aware by now, because of the controversy, uh, Muslims do not shake the hands of the opposite gender for fear it can lead to something inappropriate. Logical enough, sensible enough, but whenever Muslims say this, it becomes blown out of proportion and you got people saying Creeping Sharia, you got Muslims taking over mate. Wrong domination from these Abduls and these Mohammeds. Calm down mate, yeah? Have a biscuit, yeah, and sit down and sh shut it. Now, because of the Me Too movement, you got headlines like this Handshakes could be banned under new no physical contact rules. 
and people are like all right me too movement yeah you gotta knock all that off makes sense in some countries these people are so desperate that they are making it part of their law hear me now part of their law to make you shake someone's hand I mean how desperate do you have to be to force someone by law to touch you mate if you want me to touch you I mean let me put a ring on it innit now I get it yeah you may not look as handsome and as trim as me but stay strong mate stay motivated and god willing you'll get someone all right guys the next bit of news is facial recognition or tracking to be used in Heathrow airport this summer now this has been going on in China it's used on the roads and on the streets by the government and other countries as well but the UK is normally it takes its time with these sorts of things police in South Wales have used it in London have used it there's a problem with the UN and investigations going on about its inappropriate and its unnecessary use but that brings me on to the disadvantages what are the disadvantages I hear you ask the fact that your face can be recognized and linked to a database and all your information can come up without you even knowing number one mate there's no consent yeah whilst before the police would ask for your documentation you had certain control in your hand yeah now unfortunately they can just scan your face and then collapse number two warrants again they would need documentation there would be a due process now no warrants mate number three it can be abused and of course it can be hacked your face is being tracked and all your data coming up to the guy behind the screen who's behind the screen good cop or a corrupt cop a good guy or a hacker could be anybody and of course number four the lack of privacy and freedom whilst before you could go to places without being tracked and you know being comfortable now wherever you're walking there's a potential of you being tracked it's sad because you've got people like George Orwell that you know warned us about a surveillance state or even totalitarian autocratic state yeah we haven't heard these names because we've got democracy that's been catapulted in our face every 10 to 15 minutes mate but anyways guys whilst all this is going on there's that big hype about Avengers and the end game and Game of Thrones and all that and you know you got this was it a billion dollar venture of a series on Lord of the Rings yeah they're using a billion dollars to make that series you got all this money being invested into a virtual reality yeah these characters don't even exist these worlds are fake but they're there just to put the wool over your eyes to keep you distracted whilst they ransack and add all these laws and before you know it mate you got no rights and privacy left for god's sake if you're in the US what the hell is going on my question is to the wives of these men where on earth are you don't leave your husbands alone they obviously can't be trusted mate yeah we've got all sorts of madness going on these guys are having the hots for animals hopefully you've benefited from this short roundup of what's happened this week in the dunya i'll see you guys next time inshallah assalamu alaikum